We need to help new players instead of hating on them. I know this is a war in which I'll never be victorious, but if I can win out a few battles, all of this will have been worth it. We're about to see a bunch of new players playing Path of Exile 2, and in the past few weeks, as Grind Gear Games has attended more and more conventions, we've seen brand new people try out Path of Exile 2. And the reception in many circumstances makes me recoil. Now, I think we've curated a very positive, very helpful community here, but that's why I'm making this very meta video. I want to make sure that everybody out there watching my channel, my content knows that when you have someone reaching out for help or someone who's obviously struggling, you don't dunk on them. You don't trash them. Instead, you help them out. You could be the difference between them quitting a tenth of the way through Act 1 in Path of Exile 2 and becoming a lifelong player of the game. Now, as we're getting closer and closer to Path of Exile 2's early access, which launches on November 15th, I've noticed the toxicity levels are rising a little bit. People are getting angry. People are already starting to thrash others and their, their way of playing the game and understanding the game and their viewpoint on the game. It's already starting and the game isn't even out yet. And as we're seeing the game change, over time and seeing more new people try it, people are already saying grinding your games is nerfing Path of Exile 2 and its difficulty because of these new players. I don't want these new players in my game. They need to stay away. People who have never gamed before, they shouldn't play. People who haven't tried this type of game before, they shouldn't play either. That's so ridiculous. That's utterly ridiculous. I think a lot of people have lost the plot or just lose sight or memory of how they used to play the game. We've all been there, or at least I, I've been there. We've all been in the place where we tried to equip an item into a gem socket, where we just completely skipped the trials of ascendancy and ascension because we didn't realize how powerful it was. We've all lost instances before. We've all bashed our heads up against bosses before, died to trash mobs, didn't pick up the right item, got completely lost in an area, backtracked, all that. And all these new people coming to Path of Exile 2 and trying it out for the first time, whether it's at a demo, whether it's at home, they're going to do the same exact thing. And does that mean that we should dunk on them for that? No. Does that mean that Grinding Gear Games, a company who is well known for being stubborn and not nerfing difficulty, are they going to change the game because of these new players? No. In fact, I think a lot of their development has been catered to empower these new players so that they can keep the game at a difficult, complex, and deep level. They're trying to bring these new players up instead of letting the game stoop down to their knowledge level. They actively want to greaten the intelligence of these players, greaten their immersion and love of the game by giving them the tools necessary in the game itself to enjoy the game. So when I see lots of people, whether it's in my community, whether it's in other communities, actively saying, well, we don't necessarily need these people. It makes me upset. And I want everybody here to know, watching my videos and everyone really who's going to play Path of Exile 2 when it comes out and beyond that date, you should help out new players. When they ask for help, if they're struggling, you should help them, please. We should be positive for these newbies trying out our game and not incredibly negative and saying how they just shouldn't play. It's crazy to me. And to everybody saying that Grinding Gear Games is nerfing the difficulty of Path of Exile 2 because of these terrible players who are playing the game for the first time, this is their baby steps into the game, and they're playing it for 30 minutes at a time at a demo convention. Absolute, absolute insanity, guys. Grinding Gear Games is not balancing the game around these people. They're not thinking, oh, well, we want to prevent people from going onto the forums or on YouTube and complaining about the difficulty of the game. They fully expect that is going to happen. They know it's going to happen. 
A lot of people are looking at the Executioner boss fight and saying, well, that has definitely been nerfed in the past. Well, after all, Woody Joe was able to annihilate it on his first try. No issue. And Try and his wife spent two hours fighting it. Oh, there had to be nerfs there. They didn't actually use me as an example. I'm using myself as an example. Well, I do think that the Executioner was the only boss fight that they have touched. And I think that's the only one that they felt like they needed to bring down in difficulty in Act 1. Everything else, all those other difficult fights, the Devourer, Draven, heck, the Act boss... I don't think any of those are getting uh, nerfed before early access, if you can even call it that. The game isn't even out yet. Nothing can be nerfed if the game is not out. <laughs> oh, I feel like people are psyopting themselves into believing that new players and players who just haven't played Path of Exile 2 or any game like it before are already changing the game. And it's just, it's so, it's so funny. You guys, let's bring it down the level. Let's remember that we're all about to play this amazing game, and let's remember to always help other people out. Remain positive. So, to anyone watching this video this far, whether you're a new player, whether you've been watching my videos for a while, whether you're already an established a part of my community or not, I want to make sure that everybody knows that, you know, whether it's here on this channel in my comments, whether it's on our in our Discord community, we are committed to helping people out and not bringing them down. That's always been my philosophy. That's why I always shout out other content creators. That's why I always remain positive in my videos and always give people the benefit of the doubt. You know, I don't attribute malice to what I can attribute stupidity to, right? Or just, and stupidity, I just mean by not knowing something, right? <laughs> Oof. This was a bit of a ranty video, a bit of a meta video, but I feel like it needed to be said to make sure that we start off early access on the right foot. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one, my fellow exiles.